Okay, so this is a new one. It's the Omega 500 here. And um, we've got EUAE. And we're using it in uh, ham mode. So we're actually playing the AGA version here. Um, we'll launch a ball. You can see it's pretty laggy, but it's a lot better than last time I tried to do this. And you have like the Amiga. If the Amiga native chipset here displaying the AGA colors and using hand. So this, is, this looks pretty, you know. It's obviously not coping very well with the AGA. So I'll show you a few other ones. It's an interesting example here. Um, so yeah, we're just running this emulator and displaying it through the Amiga native display. I'll go through a few other things. Okay, so here you go. running the Chaos Engine, the AGA version, that's struggling, It's pretty fascinating it's able to do this in ham. I mean, yeah, the music's playing as well. We'll see if we can get into the game and see how slow that is. I can't imagine how this is going to play, but so look, oh wait, it's playable, it's ridiculous, here you go, everybody, AGA on a real Amiga 500 screen, and if this emulator gets faster, we probably could do better, this is not too much slower than it is on the actual RTG, which I suspect means that there could be a lot more potential for this. Look at this. This is crazy. This is a software AGA for your Amiga 500 or your... Well, it has to be, I think. It has to have ham. You have to use ham and finally it's come to great use. After all these years, we're using ham. Pretty incredible, actually. This is not, I didn't expect this. I did not expect this at all. But we are using ham. And um, just in case you thought there's some funny business going on, we'll, we'll pause the thing. Um, we'll do the old. Move across here. Zoom out a bit. The old, uh, see, we've gone white on that side. This side here, we've got our mask. Back. Also, I've got this really, really long desktop, which I think is pretty cool, which means you can have lots of things put over there. So you're fully um, multitasking. You're online. I always like pushing these things. We'll find out what's going on in the world of Amiga. Yeah, you see it's all working. And this is the, the Amiga 500 with the, the Compute Module. There you go. 
and stuff everything up. That's what it looks like in there. Put some light on it. But yeah, we're using this to um, run this um, emulator here, which is, if I didn't show you, I see my mouse here. So I've got a mouse as well. This is crazy. This is um, ham mode with a pointer and so you can get a little window that says to go back to workbench. It's a shame it um, blanks that out because we don't have to really have that blanked out. It'd be cool to have that in display. Maybe there's a way to do it. So anyway, throw this browser elsewhere. That's why I like having this long screen. Um, so I'll screen grab this actually. Why not? Uh, we'll call it Chaos. This is crazy. Chaos AGA, something. We'll take a screenshot, grab it. Object not found. Object not found. Is that it? No. This is it. This is it. Oh well, I won't be able to take a screenshot just now, but I'll pause it. Yes, yeah, so I, I grabbed that. Um, you can see that's, that's what we grabbed. Okay. So let's go back to the game. The AGA um, Mega 500. Okay. Enough of that, it's still something that was fun.